I just did that in my parking lot at my apartment and I'm pretty sure like three people, like three separate cars saw me do that. And I was like not staying in a straight line while I was dancing and I'm pretty sure they think I'm drunk. You know what guys? It's that time of year where the human race is divided between those who think it's Christmas and those who think it's not. And let me just clear it up for you right now. It's freaking Christmas. So deal with it. Yep, it is Christmas time, people. I don't care if it's not after Thanksgiving. November 1st is the beginning of Christmas. Jesus said so. Those of you little curmudgeon old people, old fogey Scrooges, say, it's not Christmas yet. Why is it Black Friday? I'm not gonna let your sadness about the happiest time of the year ruin my fun. I'm freaking happy it's Christmas. I'm so excited. I love Christmas. You should love Christmas. If you don't love Christmas, I literally don't understand. Unless you're Jehovah's Witness, then I get it. Uh, sorry if you're Jehovah's Witness. Do they celebrate Christmas? Wait. Maybe. I know they don't do birthdays. You know what? I feel like I need to, I need to start a ministry that goes around and just gives hugs to Jehovah's Witnesses on their birthdays. That's so sad. I love my birthday. I'm probably offending a lot of Jehovah's... If there's any Jehovah's Witnesses that watch my channel, they have just unsubscribed. Whoops. Christmas. Guys. Like, the, on November 1st, I literally, November 1st, was like, it's officially Christmas time. It just, something snaps in my brain, and I just go there. And I'm there until, like, December 31st. Oh, yeah, just cut right in front of me, bro. Good lord. People in this town drive so freaking crazy. It's ridiculous. It's scary. November 1st, I immediately put in the Christmas music into my car. CeeLo Green, uh, Kate puts in, puts in uh, the Peanuts Christmas album. And I always kick it off. I kick it off with the Christmas song. And some of you are going, Josh, that's not a name of a song. The Christmas song? There's no Christmas song. There's Christmas music. No, no, no. There is a song called The Christmas Song, but most people know it as chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That trivia, trivia, but you didn't know that, but you thought that's what it was called, and it's not. It's called The Christmas Song. My favorite Christmas song is The Christmas Song. I, it just feels right. If it wasn't The Christmas Song, it wouldn't be The Christmas Song. That doesn't make any sense at all. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. It's beautiful. It has some of the greatest melody lines of anything I've ever heard. And it just instantly, I, the other day I was sitting in my car. I was early to an appointment and I was just sitting in my car listening to that song and just laying back and just, I'm ready to sitting by the Christmas tree with spiced tea in my hands thinking about the good times of yore while the Yule Log what is a Yule Log? What does that do? I just picture like a special log with like holly berries on it not holly berries but holly berries that you put on the log <laughs> I just pictured a holly berry like nailed to a log uh that's morbid. I don't know what a Yule Log is. But anyways, I get really nostalgic about Christmas and I'm really excited to be in California this this uh, Christmas time and just be hanging out, relaxing. It has been so, this year's been crazy. It's been absolutely nuts. I just, I can't believe how intense this year has been, both at work and in my personal life. This has been one of the most crazy, stretching, like, out of control years I've ever been through. It's been rough. There's been some good things, but 2014 is gonna go down in the books as let's never do that again. For me, Christmas marks the end of the year. 
that's part of it for me. It marks the end of the year, and I get to either look back and reflect on the good times, or I get to go, good freaking riddance, year. I hope I never see you again. Oh, good morning. Nope. Nope. Everybody stop. Everybody stop what they're doing. We've got a traffic problem here. I had my blinker on. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I'm telling you, I'm going to die. That's how I'm going to go. I'm going to go on the road, on the back roads of Franklin, Tennessee. And I'm going to get hit by somebody's SUV. I really just wanted to talk about Christmas because I'm excited about Christmas. Uh, I'm excited for uh, Christmas music. I love the Christmas song, like I said. Uh, I love Carol the Bells. That's one of my favorites. I love... Uh, I love every al every song on the Seagull Green Christmas album. That's pretty amazing. And I like to listen to like the old Rat Pack stuff, you know, Dean Martin and, and, and stuff like that, like their Christmas albums. Mm. So good. Like that's just, that's what Christmas is made of. You know, it's made of 1940s big band Christmas music. That and Jesus' birth, so. <laughs> Oh, what was, oh, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, a lyric video for uh, a band called Finding Favor. Uh, look them up. They're pretty cool. I enjoy their music. Very nice. They have a nice a nice tone, nice sound. Uh, and I'm doing a Christmas song for them called City Night. Uh, and it should be up by the time this is out. So Google it. City Night by Finding Favor lyric video. And um, and uh, it's. It's really nice. It's a great song. It's I think it's going to be another one of my new favorite Christmas songs. It's it's kind of like a, a cool modern view, not a modern rendition, but a, like kind of modern perspective of what it would be like for uh, to be a shepherd and and witness uh, Jesus. You know, at his not during his birth. I don't think they were there, but you know, around the time of his birth, and uh, and just the way they describe it, like I just get so like tied into that that moment of like Jesus is on the earth it's this culmination of a, of a promise that's been thousands of years in the making and uh, and now we have an entire holiday that affects the entire world around it uh, and that's that's the very small part of it uh, there is the whole you know spiritual ramifications of, of Jesus coming to earth and, and, and being a baby and all that stuff um, but it affects even on a secular level which I think is amazing it just it's, it's kind of cool. Christmas, man. It's Christmas time, and you guys, those of you who are bah humbugging the crap out of Christmas right now, you need to stop it. There are those of us who need this right now. We need Christmas. I need Christmas. And frankly, if you're bah humbugging everything, you need Christmas too. So go on iTunes and download some music and just force yourself to sit down and listen to it. And just enjoy Christmas! It's not that hard. Alright? Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time on Fultron in Nashville. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video because that helps me out a ton. And uh, we're getting close to 100 subscribers. Good lord! <laughs> you guys are just kind of creeping in a little by little. I'm getting more subscribers. Thank you so much. And a lot of it is, has to do with the Minecraft stuff, which I'm like, yay! I'm so excited about the Minecraft. I'm supposed to be turning while I'm clapping. I'm really excited that you guys are liking the Minecraft stuff. I, that's like, I'm really excited about that. Um, so, be sure to check out the Minecraft stuff as well. Uh, subscribe and like. I think I covered everything. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time. Fultron out. We're gonna go by Fultron, because I think that's an awesome name. <laughs> Give it up, buddy. There we go. Bro, that dude was on my oh face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow, what the dude? What? <laughs> The reason I have a spirit animal is because I was never allowed to have pets. It's contest time. If your name is Ben Miller and you're a subscriber to my channel, I just drew your name and you just won a prize.